This was a video that so many people were asking me to make. I was live the other day here on YouTube and I was doing my makeup and getting ready and I was using this right here. This is so cute. These are the Twin Stars makeup from Wet n Wild and I used everything in here, but a lot of people were asking me specific things that they wanted to see. So let's do it. I'm gonna do my base makeup first and this actually has beauty blenders. Let me show you them, they're so cute. These are the beauty blenders. This one's a little big. I tried to make it look like I didn't use it, but you know, I had to wash it. So I'm gonna use this for my base foundation and then come back and do the rest. Here are the beauty blenders, so cute. They have the little twin stars on there. This one I used yesterday, that's why it's a little dirty, but I wet it and that's how I use my beauty blenders. I always wet my beauty blenders and wash them before I use them. A lot of people were asking me what foundation and concealer I use, so I'm just gonna quickly let you know. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation, and then for concealer, I just, classic, instant age rewind concealer. This shade is a little tan, but it does match my body. My face just doesn't tan because if I'm tanning anyway, I have foundation on. Um, so it like is always pale, but this will match after I use my concealer. Here is something super important. Please don't forget to bring your foundation down to your neck. Even if you think it's the right shade, it's super important and a very common makeup mistake that a lot of people do. So. That's important. Also, I usually don't put foundation on my nose because my nose is a little bit red and I like the, like it, it you know, it's like a little bit like red, you know, just natural and cute. Um, so I leave that because I think that it looks a little bit like just cute and sun-kissed and natural. Now let's do some concealer. Here is a little life hack and something super important that I wish I knew when I was starting out my makeup is anywhere you're going to be doing concealer, don't put foundation there because what will happen is it's going to be super layered and look a little bit cakey. Not that I care if something looks cakey. I mean, makeup is gonna look like makeup, but look a little bit more natural. Now to set my face, I am going to use this powder right here. This is from the Hourglass Face Palette. This is supposed to be like an illuminator, but it's pretty matte. So I like to use this anywhere that I use concealer because it just kind of brings out the brightness and really highlights that area of my face. And I don't like too much powder because I don't like the way that it feels. It makes my face feel really dry. So I just powder where I need it to last a little bit longer or not crease. Now let's do my face, my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter. The uh, Wet n Wild um, Twin Stars does have these Star Power brushes, which I'm gonna be using. Honestly, there's not much to say about brushes. I love all brushes. I have really like, I just, if it's a makeup brush, I'm gonna love it. I have so many makeup brushes and these are glitter, hello. Um, pink and blue, of course, to stay on theme. I'm gonna use this one for my bronzer and blush. And honestly, this might be controversial, but I use the same brush for my bronzer and my blush because um, I don't think it matters. I do feel like the colors mix, but anyway, I love it. So, of course, for bronzer, we're doing the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Stay classic. You gotta love it. This one has never let me down. And I bronze this face up. Make it look like I just got back from, you know, tanning, even though I didn't. <laughs> And I love that this foundation honestly matches my, like, look, it, like, actually matches. My face is so much more pale than my body, and it's really, like, when I'm not wearing makeup, I feel like everyone can tell that my face is so pale, but they can't. That's just me. But now I feel like it's all even. 
so bronze up my face I don't really do too much contour I used to really contour my nose um and that was that was a really great time in my life I would really really contour it but now I got so good at contouring my like anyone's nose that it's just a superpower of mine I think my dog is trying to get in my room if you hear scratching at the door it's just it's just little Frankie but I can't let him in because he is going to ruin this box all right bronzer is done and now it's time for blush this didn't oh this one does have a blush all right let me go get the twin stars blush there's actually two types of blush here. We have the pink one and the blue one. I'm going to use this one right here. There's also glitter. Um, Ashley was wearing this yesterday and it was so cute. She also put some of this in her hair and I loved it. So I'm going to use this blush. Usually I go for a more orange blush, but if you want to see what the shining star one looks like, I will show you. Um, this one's blue, it has a blue highlighter, very frosty. Very pretty, but I'm thinking I'm gonna like this one a little bit more. Honestly, they do kind of look the same in my opinion, but um, let's put this on. I do love a coral blush, um, but I think today this is going to match very nicely. Just to have a little fun, I'm going to go ahead and use this blush. I'm going to layer this on top just to see what it would look like. And I just think it'd be so cute um, because this looks a little bit more, see, it looks a little bit more like airy and more just, wintery i guess um so i'm gonna put this on my temples oh this is cute i'm glad i layered it i think it looks so cute i'm also gonna add a little bit on my forehead just to kind of mesh everything together and make everything look cohesive and of course i'm gonna do some blush on my nose i know some people don't really like doing blush on their nose but i think it's so cute and everyone should just try it like once in a while just a little a little kiss of color perfect now let's do some highlighter. I don't usually wear highlighter. Um, I, I just don't ever think to really wear it. It's not really my jam, but I have to try this one. The color is so cute and kind of matches my shirt just a little bit. Let's put some on and see if I will now be a highlighter person. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. The sign of a good highlighter is that you can't see it until it hits the light. And it's definitely doing that for me. You cannot see it until it hits the light. You don't want any like color that's that's my opinion like you don't want to be able to see any color until it's being lit up and this is pretty i oh i love this let's do that's my dog he's being a little aggressive with the sock over there just ignore him and his his violence stop it i'm also going to do some above my eyebrow and my cupid's bow there are also these two super cute lip masks this one is exfoliating i think this one is a regular lip mask um i tried the exfoliating one yesterday on my live stream and it was really nice honestly something about me is i don't really like the way like chapstick or anything feels on my lips when i have foundation on i just feel like it feels like a little too sticky so i am just going to try the regular one because i tried the exfoliating one yesterday so i feel like ooh, ooh, it's scented oh it smells like strawberry but like really nice strawberry like good good strawberry let's try it Ooh, that is really, really nice. Um, it's not sticky at all. I love this. I love this so, so much. Ooh, that I'm gonna use every single day. All right, now let's do some eyeshadow, my favorite part of my makeup. Here is the eyeshadow palette, Cotton Candy Clouds. So many different colors in here, a lot of glitters. And honestly, one thing about Wet n Wild, their glitter always is amazing always beautiful i did use this gold one yesterday and it was really really pretty here it is up close if you want to just you know take a moment to appreciate the beauty look at the pans they stamped in the most cute little designs i think i'm gonna have to use this one right here let's take a look at that that is pretty very frosty it is sort of the winter time here so maybe i'm gonna use I'm thinking about this one as my entire lid and that's what I'm gonna do my mind has been set on this shade right here oh this is called 
Starfishing. Look at the names of these. Ah, so cute. So, so cute. Let's use Starfishing and also the one above it, Moon Dust. In my inner corner, I think these will look so cute together. I always apply loose glitters like this with my finger because if I use the brush, not only will it be a lot less pigmented, it also will have so much fallout and the glitter fallout just does not come off. So use a finger and it does not have as much fallout. Let's pop this on my lid and see what we think. Ooh, that is so pretty. It actually kind of reminds me of the glossy lid trend when people would put like lip gloss on their eye and it would be so sparkly and very glossy because it has that kind of like glittery effect without looking chunky. Ooh, I love that. This is so cute. And then I just pull it up toward my crease for a nice natural looking blend with the glitter. I used the gold one yesterday and it was really nice. I love a gold eyeshadow, but honestly, sometimes like the right shade of gold that I'm looking for is hard to find, but that one is definitely right. It's that like very warm gold with the chunks of glitter. I mean, can you get anything prettier than that? This is also a very beginner friendly look. If you're comfortable with using glitter, of course, um, it's so easy. You just need to do that. So I'm going to now use a little eyeshadow brush, the little fluffy brush for my crease. I don't want to just leave the glitter plain. So I'm going to use this also. Let's get a moment and appreciate that. Yeah, I love that. Let's use right here. The shade is called Dream Galaxy. That's cute. And put this in my crease, give it more of a seamless blend than just having a plain glitter. I really love this eyeshadow palette. It has everything you could ever need. It has colors, it has neutral colors. I am just kind of giving this a wing shape. As I blend it out, I'm pulling it up and you can really see that here. And this is super easy with this brush actually because it is slanted. So it has a really good um, shape for this eye look. Now my lower lash line, I always have to have my lower lash line a little bit smoky because I think that it really ties it all together if it's just, you know, plain with just foundation. I don't think that it looks like you kind of finished your look a little bit. So I'm just going to add what I used in the crease, a little bit of that Dream Galaxy, I think it's called, on the lower lash. I am going to grab this Moon Dust and I'm also going to mix it a little bit with Double the Fun right here um, just for a little more shimmer than glitter and pop this in my inner corner. Also, I just read this in more detail and some of these are face pigments. So this one, Timid, Sugar High, Lala, and Curious right here are face pigments. So I guess you could use that as blush or highlighter. This is the Starry Eyes eyeliners. There is white, pink, blue, and this one is gold. I did already open this up. So the packaging is yellow, but it is gold. Um, I'm definitely going to use this white and I want to do a graphic liner. I was live yesterday and I did my graphic liner and a lot of people were asking for a more in-depth tutorial on how I did that. So I might do that in black or have a little fun and do it in either the pink or blue. Let's do some graphic liner. So I bought this, um, I don't even know, I haven't really ever used this honestly, but this is really amazing. This is from um, Half Magic Makeup, um, so amazing. They have a lot of great stuff by the way, but um, this is supposed to be a helpful tool in doing eyeliner. Um, I haven't used it, but it has a bunch of different angles for you to use and different, like it's just, it's pretty great. Um, when I bought it, I was like, I'm gonna use it all the time but it is really helpful if you really, really need help with your winged liners. Um, and also it's silicone, so you can bend it and it washes really easily. But I'm just going to use a regular eyeliner. So I'm going to, what's actually really great is I have that, um, I have my eyeshadow winged out a little bit. So that gives me a nice guide on what kind of shape I'm going to do, what angle I'm gonna have my eyeliner. So let us start, and this is when it gets serious. Let's go. I start in the center of my eye right here, just above my pupil.
Wow. Here we go. That was pretty quick. That is one eye. I'm going to do my other eye. Try to match it. Try to match it. So my base liner is done and that is the first step in doing any graphic liner is having the base done. Depends on obviously what style graphic liner you want to do, but I always have a wing and then some sort of design on my lid by my crease. So they are actually pretty similar. I made them very thick today because I felt like my eyeshadow was very simple. So I wanted to do a thick wing just to kind of make it still a little bit more edgy and interesting. I'm going to use the same exact liner and this actually isn't liner. This is a brow marker, but I put black eyeshadow on it because I lost my other liner. Now I'm going to do my same look I did yesterday. And this is, this is actually a lot easier than it looks, but with practice, it gets super easy. Here we go. Starting in the right here, starting right here. I'm going to do a voiceover because I can't talk during this. <laughs> Wow, I did that all in one go, as you saw. So now you can either decide to leave this gap here or you can connect it. I don't know yet what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna do my other eye and then see how I like it not connected and then, and then we'll see. But I feel like I have the eyeliner peeps on my side today. So we're gonna do this and it's gonna look great. You just need to have a little faith in yourself. Right. Okay, this one's a little thicker, wait, okay. That's too thick. That was a regret. I'm gonna fix it. Here we go, all finished. I decided to leave a gap and I made much more of a wing out. So it kind of looks like a double wing, ooh. I have no working eyelash curlers. So let's see what we've got. One of them is literally, I don't even know. I must be very intense while I do my makeup because I, let me know how I just, tell me how I did that. And this was like relatively new. Anyway, I'm gonna use this one here. You know when your eyelash curlers just get kind of like, eh, meh, barely work. That's where this one's at. But you know, I've had it for a while and it's my trusty, you know, always, it helps me with these good looks, you know. Thank you, thank you. Let's curl them up. This is the mascara I use from Lancome. Always a big fan of this one. I got the sample ones from Ulta when they were giving when this was new and um, I've loved it ever since then. So that sample really worked. I have very sparse eyelashes. So I have a lot of like bald spots in my eyelashes. It makes me sad, but it's just the way it is. And this really like helps. Like I really can't tell. Also, that's why I do so because you can't see the bald spots with such thick eyeliner. Not that I wouldn't do that anyway, because, you know, big eyeliner's always been my jam, but it, you know, it has a good reason to be, uh, it's looking out for me. Oh, hi, Frankie. I don't know what he wants to do. It is time for my lips. My lips are always like when I'm pretty much done with my makeup, that's my last step. Um, there are two lip mousses and two lip glosses. I'm not a lip gloss person. My sister Ashley is. She's a big lip gloss person. So I'm gonna save these for her, but I'm definitely gonna try the lip mousse. I think I'm gonna try a mixture of both because I don't want anything too dark, but I don't want anything too pink. I feel like putting them together is a very good idea. And first I'm just gonna line my lips. I forgot to mention this, but I'm actually lining my lips with eyeliner. I love this color and it's just so pigmented. And because it's eyeliner, it lasts really long because it's meant to be waterproof. Now I'm just blending the lip liner with my finger so it looks much more blended and natural. And I also overline my cupid's bow and make it round instead of a triangle because I just think it looks a little bit better for my face shape. And now I'm done lining. My lips are aligned and ready to go. Let's mix these together. Oh, these are always sealed so good. Ah. Okay, 
I could have cut it, but you know. See, that's a very, very bright pink we've got going on. This color was so pretty and pretty pigmented, so I didn't need that much, but I loved it. I'm also blending it in with my finger and blending it with my lip liner, and I'm so happy with this color. I am going to wear this every single day. Wow. I really love this. I didn't mix it. Um, I meant to, and then I just forgot. This is really, really pretty. I just realized that I need a lot more mascara, so we're doing that. Okay. Mascara, all done. But while I was doing my mascara, I saw a little something I can do for just some extra fun. So let's go up here and yeah, I love that. Let's do my freckles, some fake freckles up in here, um, fake beauty marks. I always do some beauty marks um, because I love when I when I get like a blemish or something, I get excited because I'm like new freckle today, new beauty mark today. Um, let's do some today. Don't look at me. All right. That is a real one, so that doesn't count. And now I'm going to blend a little bit of brown against the liner I did on my lash line. So it's a little bit more smoky. I don't want the line to look too harsh. That's why I'm going to also smoke it out because it is a very like, oh my gosh, she just like washed herself in my room. Because I want it to look a little bit more smoky than just like a black line. Well, you lock yourself in here. That's like... Starry Eyes Eyeliner. And I'm going to use the white one be boring but I think I've got a lot going on don't want to add any color but I will use this white one and go right where the black line is above it also I did a little line coming out this is so cute and that is my makeup. It's a little bit different. Well, actually, it's very different than the makeup I did yesterday on my YouTube live. If you want to see that, it's under my, our lives here on our channel. Um, and it is the most recent one of me. So I hope you enjoyed the look. And if you try it out, please um, tag us on whatever platform you are going to post it. Um, thank you for watching. And let me know if there's any other looks. A lot of people said they wanted Thanksgiving makeup ideas. And yes, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.